Imagine a time before computers, before telescopes, before even paper was common. In 1901, Greek sponge divers discover a shipwreck off Antikythera. Among the treasures, a corroded bronze lump is found, seemingly just a rock. But as it's cleaned, a complex system of gears and dials emerges. This is the Antikythera mechanism, a cosmic clockwork, the world's first analog computer. It changed everything we thought we knew about the ancient Greeks. Scientists used X-rays and imaging to peer inside the fragile remains. They found a symphony of interlocking gears, far more than a simple clock. The device was an astronomical calculator, predicting the positions of the sun and moon, and even eclipses. It accounted for the moon's irregular orbit, a feat of advanced mathematics. The back featured two spiral dials, one for the metonic cycle, aligning lunar months with solar years, and another for the Sero cycle, predicting eclipses. Subdials detailed the timing and characteristics of these events. Inscriptions acted as a user's manual, connecting the machine to Greek astronomy. Names of months, zodiac signs, and cycles were all inscribed. This was a tool for understanding the cosmos as an ordered, predictable system. The Antikythera mechanism placed ancient Greek technology on a level once thought impossible. Before its discovery, such geared devices were believed to begin with medieval clocks. This single object rewrote that history. It suggested a lineage of genius, perhaps stretching back to Archimedes. What once sounded like myth now seemed like history. The Antikythera mechanism is a physical link to the minds that laid the foundations of Western science. It's a window into a world where technology and astronomy were deeply intertwined. Despite all we'd learned, the front of the mechanism remained a mystery. The most damaged part, it left us guessing what it once displayed. We knew it tracked the sun and moon, but did it also model the five known planets? The planet's complex, retrograde motions would require extraordinary mechanical genius. The surviving fragments didn't fit together in any way that explained planetary motion. Gear tooth counts didn't match known cycles. For decades, researchers proposed models, but none fit all the evidence. The missing front was a century-long enigma. The challenge reconstruct a 3D puzzle with most pieces gone. Every solution had flaws either ignoring fragments or demanding implausible complexity. The question of the planets haunted every effort to understand this cosmic clockwork. Solving it would redefine the limits of ancient technology. The ghost in the machine was the question of the planets. The Antikythera mechanism held on to its greatest secret. And for a hundred years, that secret remained locked away. After a century of human effort, researchers turned to a new partner, artificial intelligence. The team at University College London fed every scrap of data, x-rays, inscriptions, gear counts, into a computer model. The AI's task work backward from the evidence to reconstruct the missing design. It had to think like an ancient Greek engineer, respecting their mathematics and logic. The AI sifted through millions of possible gear arrangements, testing each against the evidence. It was a digital archaeologist, relentlessly logical, discarding any solution that didn't fit. Researchers guided the AI, but the machine did the heavy lifting. This was a collaboration across millennia, ancient minds, modern historians, and 21st century AI, all focused on one goal, to finally see the face of the machine. The digital archaeologist was about to make its breakthrough. The greatest secret of the Antikythera mechanism was within reach. The cosmos was about to be revealed. The AI's breakthrough was quiet but revolutionary. It produced a design that fit every piece of the puzzle. The Antikythera mechanism was indeed a model of the entire known cosmos. The front was a miniature planetarium Earth at the center, surrounded by rings for the moon, sun, and five planets. Each body was represented by a bead or gem, moving along its ring to show its position in the sky. The genius was in how it replicated the planet's complex retrograde motions. The AI revealed a system of epicyclic gears, smaller gears riding on larger ones, to create these patterns. This technique, 
later described by Ptolemy, was realized here centuries earlier. The mechanism was a physical embodiment of cutting-edge science. The AI provided a complete blueprint, specifying every missing gear and their arrangement. The team could now build a replica and even create a software version to watch the ancient cosmos come alive. For the first time in 2,000 years, we could see what the Creator intended. The bronze planets danced once more to the rhythm of the heavens. The AI's reconstruction stunned historians with its elegance and compactness. Modeling all five planets in such a small space required genius beyond what was thought possible. The mechanism translated complex astronomical cycles into interlocking gears. For Venus and Saturn, it used a pin-and-slot mechanism to mimic elliptical orbits, a concept not seen again until Kepler. This forced a complete re-evaluation of ancient Greek technology. The Antikythera mechanism is a rare survivor, a time capsule of lost knowledge. It proves their technological prowess matched their intellectual achievements. The skills to build such a device vanished for over a millennium. The fall of Rome created a chasm in technological history. The Antikythera mechanism is a ghost from the other side, showing the heights once reached. The Renaissance was, in many ways, a rediscovery of ancient genius. This single artifact changed the timeline of mechanical engineering. It revealed a lost world of science and innovation. The AI rebuilt mechanism is more than gears. It's a window into the ancient mind. It shows a universe governed by cycles and ratios, not just myth. This device is a philosophical statement. The universe is knowable. It's the spirit of science, alive 2,000 years ago. The mechanism reveals a world of workshops, engineers, and scientists pushing boundaries. It suggests a community as innovative as any in history. The craftsmanship points to a master artisan, the astronomy, to a brilliant scientist. Their names are lost, but their genius is now visible. The rebuilt mechanism transforms our view of history. It hints at a lost technological tradition, richer than we imagined. What else lies buried, waiting to change our story? The Antikythera mechanism, now complete, forces us to redraw the timeline of human ingenuity. It proves that breathtakingly complex technology existed in the second century BC. The intricate gears and modeling were thought to be medieval inventions. The mechanism shows the flame of genius burned brightly in the Hellenistic world. Knowledge is fragile. Skills to build such devices were lost for over a thousand years. Progress isn't inevitable. Knowledge can vanish. The so-called Dark Ages were a time of rediscovery, not just pause. The mechanism challenges us to look for more signs of lost technology. Its creators were part of a wider culture of scientific inquiry. Our job is to find more traces of that lost world. The story of human innovation is richer and more inspiring than we ever imagined. The Antikythera Mechanism's journey, from the sea to digital reconstruction, is a story of connection. It links us to ancient minds who shared our curiosity about the cosmos. They used gears and bronze. We use silicon and AI. The quest to understand the universe is timeless. An ancient mystery finally yielded to modern technology. The AI stood on the shoulders of generations of researchers, who in turn built on ancient genius. Technology is a key to unlocking the past as well as building the future. The mechanism reminds us to stay humble and curious. History is full of surprises. What other marvels lie hidden, waiting for discovery? The drive to explore and understand connects us across millennia. The journey continues.